Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. Wayne Hackman here, aka Waxstar. This is a very rudimentary how to. It's a screen capture from a training session I did earlier today for a few people in my organization who wanted to upload video to the internet but do it in a small file format. And so I'm teaching these people how to use Windows Movie Maker, which is a free download off the internet for any Windows user, and using the compression tool that comes with that package for free. And so I, you will see that I transformed a 1.5 gigabyte file all the way down to a 20 megabyte file. Why is this helpful? You're probably saying because most people want to upload their file formats to the best quality available. And normally that would be true. But in the day and age that we're living in and people posting to Microsoft Teams and Zooms and, uh, and want people to access content quickly for educational purposes or meetings or, or things like that, then enabling people to get access to that information quickly without waiting for a large download or waiting for it to upload quickly, then this is a method that you might like to use. Again, sorry about the rudimentary nature of this. This is a screen cap of a Zoom call, but I hope you find it helpful. Again, okay, you install Microsoft Movie Maker, which is free to download onto your Windows machine. If you're not too sure how to do that, give Simon a call. Someone will come and do it for you, okay? You open up Windows Movie Maker, okay? And it will give you, it will give you options, okay? When you go into Windows Movie, you can, um, it gives you a, a convert video option. You click on that. Then you go to the video that you've downloaded off your device. Um, you go you add video. You navigate to wherever you have stored that in my computer. So in my case, I'm using gentle waves on rocks. Okay, you click open. Then you go to convert. Okay, uh, uncheck keep original bit rate. Okay, and then by lowering the bit rate, okay, you, uh, you decrease the quality of the video, but increase, um, it, uh, it creates smaller files. So in my case, I did it a thousand. When you rendered that, I won't do it now because I've already done that. You click OK and it starts to count. Uh, you choose where you obviously put it. You click OK. It, it downscales that video. So what then happens is it, you go to wherever it is that's created. So you can see the original file size here was, uh, sorry, that's, the, that's the, the new one, which is 20 megs. And the original file size of the original file is 1.4 gigs. So you can see that there is a considerable difference in file size, okay? So a very basic tutorial, hope you find that helpful. Please don't forget to rate, subscribe, and do all of the things that YouTubers do. Thanks for watching.